The way a house and a home makes you feel, that is what's important in designing your home and that is what I love. That's you. Yeah. All right. Yep, go. Understanding what makes a great guest experience. There we go. This is a nice room, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever you're on today, I'll have some, because I need it. I'm just saying, it's a nice room. Yeah. When creating your holiday property, you need to work out how many guest bedrooms you'll have, and ultimately, how many guests you can accommodate. Here at The Pause, we've got five guest bedrooms and we've created a bunk room, so all together we can accommodate 12 guests. This room looks alright. The secret room. Oh, so this is what we call the secret room. So it's really just could have been another storage room, but we were like in holiday properties, the more people you can get in beds, the more people that you can have come and stay. So here we're putting in and have some custom bunk beds built. I wanted the guest rooms to feel calm. I want them to be a place where the guests can retreat to at night. When it comes to lighting, I'm really particular about this and I always try to educate people to think about what our houses used to be, um, how we used to light them. So if you think back, I'm probably showing my age a bit here, but you used to have just one bayonet fitting per room and now when people come and build houses and renovate, they're like, oh my God, am I going to have enough lighting? They go overkill with it and it just kills the space. It feels like a runway. So to me, lighting is all about less is more, so just think about when one room, bayonet fitting. Yes, you might want to add a bit more ambient and task lighting, but less is more, and especially in bedrooms. We have our plans, but I don't want to do that. So, all black. And then, switch. So when you're in bed. Yeah. So obviously, then, you know, you might exact, bed. Yep. Yeah. Now, this is exact measurement, but I've got this and that determines the height. Yeah. Yeah, on. Yeah, which wall did we decide? Oh. Yeah. Remember sitting in the top? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gotta have air conditioning. And I really don't like the look of it, so I try to disguise it as much as I possibly can. See why you gotta work with your experts in the trades, being your trades people, because they will teach you things and point out things that you might not really look out for. So thanks, Jack, for that. <laughs> Here at The Pause, it's a group accommodation, so privacy is really important. Do you want to hear what they're doing in that room to hear? I know I don't, so. The bedrooms are coming together. When the plasterboard goes on, it does make the room seem like they're smaller, but once the furniture gets in, then you get the scale of it. So super check, it is a lot more durable than standard plasterboard. And since here at The Paws, it's a family-friendly holiday property, it's ideal for kids. And what I'm already noticing at this stage of the build is the noise dampening qualities. It is so quiet up here. If you're working upstairs, you, you, you could hardly hear what's happening downstairs. You couldn't hear me when I'm going, Ben, 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 Ben. But you actually couldn't hear me at all, could no, you? No, yeah. not at all. I added arches in the design as they were to be an aesthetic feature, but what they actually allowed the guest rooms to do is to have the three different zones. So as you can see here, I've created this nib wall in this space, and this is going to be the open wardrobe. So we're going to have the timber shelf going through, black hanging rail, we'll have open timber shelves here. It's going to function for storage for the guests to come put their bag in and their clothes but it's gonna look amazing. So it's gonna be a feature, but you can see here, this is zone one of the bedroom. Then as we come through to the arch, then now this is what I call zone two. So this is the bedroom. So obviously we're gonna have beds going in here, wall lamps, bedside. Then this is zone three. Can't go in here because it's just been waterproofed. So it means the tilers are coming very soon. But um, zone three, the bathroom. So we decided to put en suites in all the guest rooms 
And that was coming off the back of our other holiday property project, Soul of Jerringong. Having the en-suites was a big part of that property's success. We knew it would take a big chunk of our budget, but we also knew that when it came to working at our nightly rate, we'd be able to charge that bit higher. Yeah, I think it's really important for a holiday house to, if you can, to, to add an ensuite to each bedroom. Do you? <laughs> there you go. So this is when you really want to spend all this time to make sure every single millimetre is exact. In this bathroom, we're having cavity slider, We've got a vanity going in here, basin on top, gorgeous brass um, wall tap mixer. The mirror will go all the way across. And it's at this stage you want to nail it to two millimetres. Tylers are coming on Saturday, so it's going to happen really fast from now, so I've got to get organised. So today I am finalising the grout colours. So often people pick their tiles and they forget about the colour for the grout and it is so important. I had picked my grout colours quite long ago, um, all perfect on paper, but got here today to site and they're just not right. So I'm going to tweak them. My tiler has done me a couple of dry samples. So you just get them to shake out a bit of the actual grout mix and you can see straight up if it works or not. Biggest tip, do that before you get a whole wall grouted. I may or may not have made a tiler change that before. It's a big deal. Oh my, I'm a bit nervous because I'm like, <gasps> yes, 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 it works. It works. You're walking this bathroom, it's going to be like big, open, gorgeous timber vanity and a stone bath going there and then you walk around and you find my curved walls. It's just those soft little touches that just makes this that feeling, all about the feeling. You're gonna get sick of me saying it, but look at it. Oh, I love it. You love it? Well done. Okay, that's two. Yes, because I'm like actually really excited about it. This is what I want because it's all about being organic materials. So these have been handmade in Bali. So the more markings and movement in it, it's just screams organic. You know, as, as this build goes on and, and, <laughs> and it gets closer to finish, the smell's just going to talk and talk and talk. Because it's exciting! All that height planning when you're trying to get a millimetre exact, it's all worked out with the height of the piece. This makes the whole bathroom, it is good. Amazing when the bath's in here, just plays with the height, and then we can get away with less. It's more the mirrors in, the timber trims going on, it's all happening. This part of a project, it is full on, it is hard work, you get stressed out, but then it's also when it gets really excited. So, like, oh my god, the taps are in, the this and that, but you gotta know, it's just like boom, boom, boom. I'm the client. I'm the client now. I'm not your wife. Yeah, I know. So I need detail, not you're shitting me in the nicest possible way. I just think we shouldn't communicate today. It should just be all hand motions, nothing else. Holiday properties are different to your everyday home, and there are ways that you can use this to save some dollars in your budget. Wardrobes are one of them. I love to use open timber shelving with a hanging rail as honestly there is no need for a full wardrobe. The key is to plan this out at the build stage so that your builders can block out where the timber shelves will get installed into. So for them to be able to install this wall, So for them to be able to build it wall to wall, they have to be able to block out the timbers. So the boys are going to have to run a block of timber there. So when they go and install that timber shelf, it's got something to bang into. Otherwise, if I'm like 2100 and there's no block there, they can't install it. So getting this blocked out with your builder is so, so easy to do it at this stage, so cheap and so effective. Once the building works have been completed in your guest room, you really want to focus your attention on the bed and bedding. When your guests are on holidays, you want them to have an amazing night's sleep. Definitely invest in a quality mattress, and then it is all about the type of bedding that you use. My absolute go-to is MicroClouds 
mattress toppers, quilts and pillows. Once you've slept on them, I can tell you, you'll never sleep on anything again. <laughs> oh God. Once you've slept on them, you'll never sleep on anything else again. <laughs> and that's it, bedroom, easy. I love how the guest bedrooms and en suites have come together. You know, I'm always about how a space has to make you feel. And those guest rooms, they just feel calming. They invite you in. All the mix of the natural organic materials coming together from the timber doors to the linen bedding, it all just works. You know, standing in this space now, it just feels calm and it doesn't feel like your bedroom at home. Less is more, but it also feels really warm and inviting. So, you know, by having the leaner mirror, the plant, the wall light, they're all statements, but it's just, it's got a feeling of space in here. And then I absolutely love, love, love the arch. It just brings the whole space together. The en suites, I freaking love how these have turned out. I wanted the spaces to feel, you know, really relaxing. I wanted them to be really natural as well. So it's all about the organic materials. There's nothing organic about a fake flip, but it works. The brass just becomes the hero. It's in such a little scale that it just, without it, it just wouldn't feel as good. So it's just all together, the mixes and the tones. It's just, yeah, I love it. It's like a hotel suite for guests, but within a holiday property. And the solid teak doors, they're very good too. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to add something really good and then it went. <laughs>